Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Torn Up 2, and if you want to play it for yourselves, the links and the details are down below in the description. In this game, it's a wintry, Christmassy night, and I'm going to be playing as a kid who, for whatever reason, just can't get to sleep. This is brought to us by Johnny's Games, who made Slide in the Woods, which was actually one of my favourite indie horrors of 2021, so I'm really looking forward to this. Plus, I've seen a little bit of this on another video, and it looks really, really good. So, really hope you enjoy it. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like or dislike the video by the end, but let's begin Torn Up 2. So, late one winter polar night, you find yourself unable to sleep, awoken with a strange, uneasy feeling. With your mother fast asleep, you decide to move to the living room. With not much to do, you start reading an old book you found at the town bookstore earlier that day. Okay, so I'm hoping that reading is going to send me to sleep. And here we are. Okay. Right. Yeah. Very wintry, very Christmassy, and tis the season after all. And this must be the book. So let's see. Alright, torn up to. We've got different fonts. I think I like this one, actually. Um, the Tornuktu is an evil creature originating from Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. It has the head of a reindeer, but with human teeth, which wrap around its entire face. It has the body of a man, but with hooves for feet. Its skin is pale white, but is covered in black fur, and it has eyes that glow in the night. Ah, there's page two. It is said to be especially tall when on its hind legs, and capable of walking like a human. However, it's also capable of galloping like a deer, and can travel at high speeds in an almost floating manner. Oh, wonderful! I guess that's what we have to look forward to. <laughs> almost sounds like it might be uh, something like Krampus. Yeah, very Christmassy. No presents under the tree, though, Mum and Dad. Maybe that's the uneasy feeling that I'm getting. Yeah, I'm not going to get any presents. What about the stocking? That's as flat as a pancake. Oh, hang on. Okay, now that is a big chimney. I think Santa's going to have no issues coming down this one. Wow. Right. Okay. Um, let's explore the place, shall we? So what we got here? Well, this is the front door. Can I leave? Of course I can't. Never mind. <laughs> here is the spare room, which I guess is locked up. Um, let's go this way. Got a couple more doors. This is the mum's room. Okay, uh, I guess it's it's locked. I can't seem to get that open. And the bedroom? Yeah, I can't seem to get the doors open. Okay, we've got the dining area here, I suppose. It's very dark, though. Is that a light switch? No, that's a fridge. It's helpful to know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't even get a midnight snack, either. Um, okay, would that be the, the back door? Right. Yeah, again, I can't leave. Can't get out the back, either. Um, all right. Ooh. Oh, okay, there is something around here. It's another door. Down to a basement, maybe? Oh, no, it's the bathroom. Okay. But again, can't get in. Good thing I don't need to pee. Uh, yeah. Maybe I can find a light source? I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm gonna... Oh, dear. What the hell was that? I... Okay. Sounded like growls and snarls. Maybe coming from Mum's room? Hmm. And I am I am hearing something from this room. Right. Is it the book again? I wasn't doing that before, not after I read it. Oh, I see, we've got another couple of pages. This time it's about a polar night. The Tornuktu is said to only be seen in the months of November through January. During these months, Alaska experiences a time of darkness, also known as Polar Night, when the sun ceases to rise. It is believed that Tornuktu is unable to attack outside of these months due to a weakness to the sun. Alright. Once the Polar Night starts, the Tornuktu is said to be starving and will begin its hunt, invading people's homes and eating them. It is believed that the Tornuktu targets those who build their homes far from others in secluded places. Thus, to be safe from an attack, people should live closely to one another. Right, okay. Do I have any neighbours? <laughs> At this point, I hope I do. I really shouldn't be reading this book. Not right now. No, I should go back to bed. Yeah. Can I try that? Is the Tornuktu like a real thing from folklore, or is it just created for the game, I wonder? Because I've never heard of it before. 
Nothing's changed. Can't get out the back door. No, okay. Yeah, still can't get any of these doors open, it looks like. Any more snarls and growls from Mum's room? No. Oh. Someone just opened the back door. Someone just let themselves in. Is that someone hungry? I don't see anyone. But it's very, very dark. Right, maybe this is where I can make my escape. Ooh. It's a snowman. And I can't cross the threshold. You know what? Maybe that's a good thing. Can we... Yeah, close the door. Christ. Okay. Um... What's that? I think I can hear the book again. Maybe there's another couple of pages to read. Oh, I really shouldn't be doing this. Maybe this is going to turn out to be just some horrible nightmare. You know, some horrible dream. Oh god, there's another one. He's got some weird scuffed face as well. Not exactly Frosty the Snowman, is it? Let's see. The Snowman. A sign torn up to his near is finding snowmen-like figures, which are said to have faces of the dead and smell like human corpses. It's believed such figures will surround a house before the Tanuktu attacks. Another sign it might be near is excessive feelings of fear or distress with no direct cause. Well, I was feeling uneasy. Maybe it wasn't just about the lack of presence. Right. I think it's definitely time to go to bed, don't you? Even in the spare room, just let me into one of these rooms, please. I don't care which one it is, as long as I can open it, close it, lock it, and then perhaps barricade it. Okay. That'll be the book again, I think, right? Is that snowman still out there? No, I can't see through the back door. I can't open it again, which is a good thing. Oh, God, look at that! That's a giant one that's, like, toppled over. And yeah, it's got, like, a... Well, it looks like a couple of faces on its mid and top section. Creepy. Very creepy. Right. Let's go learn a little bit more about what's going to kill me. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, it's not the book this time. Santa? <laughs> Is that you? Did you get closer? Hmm. Oh, God. Well, I suppose I can duck under for a reason, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. That looked goofy as all hell, but it still jumped me. Go away. Right. Oh, please, not again. You know what this feels like? It feels like I'm causing these things to happen by reading this book. Maybe if I read a different book, nicer things would happen. Anyway. The Tanuktu also carries a bag made of fur which it uses to steal children from the house it attacks. It is unknown where the children go when they're taken. Some say the Tanuktu eats their soul to attain immortality. Others, that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year. Wonderful. Right. Okay. What next? What's it gonna be? I'm just checking the doors to see if they're still locked at this point. I don't necessarily want to go out anymore. What I do want to do is block up that damn chimney. Hey. Oh shit. Where's that? Oh dear. Is that Mum's room? Hey. Oh no. Okay. Right. I mean, let's look on the bright side. Maybe because he's feasted, he won't want to go for me. Is this the book again? Or is this the chimney? Oh, it's the book again. Is that a wind that I'm hearing? Or breathing? I think it's wind. Right. You really do seem to be getting closer. I don't know if you are. But it, it definitely feels like it. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just paranoid. Let's see. It is believed the only way the Tonoktu can die is to starve to death. So once it finds a house to attack, there is nothing that can be done to stop it. Brilliant. Why did I have to pick this book up at the bookstore? Right. What do we do? We Whoa! That actually did make me jump quite a bit. That's mum, right? Shit. Shift the sprint. Oh, fucking hell. Right, let's go, let's go. Can't go that way. Can't go to the bedroom. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's trying to break in. Right. Okay, I'm going to go round. 
I was trying to go round. Now, I'm pretty sure there was only one ending to the game, so that was it. That was the end of Tornuk 2. There's no escape. You have to get killed by it, unfortunately. I don't know why I started reading that book. That was just a horrible premonition of things to come, and it really did feel like I was just causing all these things to happen, but uh, never mind. That was pretty good. That was short and sweet. I was hoping it was going to be a little bit scarier, but there was a couple of little moments where I did feel a bit uneasy, and I did jump when seeing it in the chimney and seeing my mum outside as a snowman. That was pretty cool. So, yeah. Yeah, I quite enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed it too. See you next time. Yeah, very Christmassy. No presents under the tree, though, Mum and Dad. Maybe that's the uneasy feeling that I'm getting. Yeah, I'm not going to get any presents. What about the stocking? That's as flat as a pancake. Is that a light switch? No, that's a fridge. It's helpful to know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> any more snarls and growls from Mum's room? No. Another sign it might be near is excessive feelings of fear or distress with no direct cause. Well, I was feeling uneasy. Maybe it wasn't just about the lack of presence. Let's go learn a little bit more about what's going to kill me. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Is that Mum's room? Like, oh, no. There is nothing that can be done to stop it. Brilliant. Why did I have to pick this book up? What do we do? We Whoa. That actually did make me jump quite a bit. That's Mum, right? Shit. Shift the sprint. Oh, fucking hell. Right, let's go. Let's go.